Here we have a question on trigonometry in 3D. This is a further maths GCSE question. It's a level 2 qualification. Um, this is question 23, so one of the last questions. This, I think it's the third from last question. And it's split into in a couple of parts. So we've got part A, which is to work out the angle between the A and the plane, A, B, C, D. I'll go, go through that in a minute. And then part B is to work out another angle. Okay, so have a go at those first. And we can rewind and, and, and forward to get to the get to the questions and then work out your answers. Okay, so let's uh, see how you should have done part A. So we're trying to work out the angle between VA and uh, the plane ABCD. So that bottom rectangle and that line going down there. Let's actually draw that line in. So from V to A, that angle, that line there, and we want the angle between that and the plane. So to find that, we need to do um, the, the triangle that's at right angles to the plane, which is this triangle here, where you've got the vertical coming down here, and then you've got um, this length from A to X, and the angle there. So what we're actually trying to find is this angle in here. I'm going to call that theta. To find that, um, I could work out this thing here, doesn't look very easy to work that out, but this bottom one here is just half of this diagonal, the base rectangle. So I'm going to work that out, A to X. So if I look at the rectangle, okay, whether this is A, the front corner, and C, the back corner, uh, X is going to be in the middle there. Okay, so we want to work out that length there. We know this is 10 and this is um, 6. So we could take a triangle, I think I will take a triangle, which is 5 by 3. That's a right angle triangle, it's not very well drawn, but... Uh, or we could do a 10 by 6 triangle, just half it for the length. But I'm going to use this 5 by 3 triangle. So using Pythagoras, the square of the hypotenuse, which is AX squared, is equal to 5 squared plus 3 squared, the square of the two smaller sides. So we've got um, 25 plus 9, so ax squared is 25 plus 9, so ax equals the square root of 25 plus 9, which is 34. Okay, so from there, just trying to get rid of that little mark on there, so that's going to confuse me a bit later. Right, so there we go. From there, um, we need to use that value, the square root of 34. I'm not going to actually work out the value of that because I'm going to use that in my calculator in a minute to work out the exact value of theta or a very close um, approximation of theta. So in this triangle, we've got the opposite side, which is the 5 meters, the vertical height, and we've got the adjacent side, which is the root 34. So tan is what we want, tan theta equals the opposite over the adjacent and the opposite is 5, and the adjacent is a square root of 34. So um, let's bring in the calculator for the answer. So um, to find this, we need to do tan to the minus 1. So inverse tan of 5 over square, square root 34. And that gives us 40, so 40.6, 3 cent figures. So tan. So theta is going to be tan to the minus 1 of 5 over root 4, 34, which is 40 point, um, I think we said 6, didn't we? Let's just check that again. Yeah, 40.6. Okay, that's worth 4 marks. Um, you get... Two, we get, well, get one mark for getting this square root, of, well, you get two marks for getting to this square root of 34. If you worked out this long side, you get one mark for working out the whole length, and then one mark for halving it, or realising you have to halve it. One mark for writing this method for the tan, and one mark for getting to the answer um, between 40.5 and 40.8, I think they allow you on that. Okay, part B. Work out the angle between the planes V, Q, R, V to Q to R. So this triangle on the side here. And P, Q, R, S. P, Q, R, S. So that rectangle there. So essentially what we're doing there is, very difficult to show you this, is we need to do a 
So that's the vertical line going down. Oops. I to draw a straight line with the. There we go. So the line that goes across to that at that plane, because that plane touches this rectangle. Um, so that's we have this triangle. So the side of that triangle is going to be going down the middle of that plane. Okay, now that's quite difficult to spot that, so that's what makes this a little bit tricky. But it's only a two mark question, so it can't be too difficult. Um, so we um, need to know what that length there is, or this length, or this length. Now we know what this height is here because we know that the total height is 5 and this bit is 3. So this height here must be 2. And this length here is just half of the base, which is 5. And that's our right angle triangle. We're trying to find out this angle here and we'll call that, I think we'll call it alpha this time. So tan alpha equals opposite over adjacent. So tan alpha equals opposite over adjacent, which is 2 over 5. So alpha is going to be 10 to the minus 1 of 2 fifths. Let's get the calculator out again. Clear that. Shift tan. 2 over 5 and we get 21.8 I think that was 21.8 yeah 20.8801 but um, oops 21.8 is our answer okay that's just a two mark question you get one for writing this tan of the angle is two fifths and one for the answer Okay, um, there is actually one mark if you if you can possibly clearly mark that angle onto the diagram. It's very difficult, and this is a difficult thing to realise. That's the angle you're trying to work out. Um, a lot of it's to do with how good your visualisation is with planes and intersections of planes and stuff like that. So if you can spot it, it's a fairly easy one to work out. But if you can't, it's quite difficult.